Well, let me introduce you guys to somebody. This here is Chris Wilson, straight out where, Arizona? Arizona, Phoenix. He's a truck driver. He's one of those guys that drives a big rig all over the country. And you do have a very tough job that doesn't come with a lot of gratitude. But I would like to say thank you because all of our stuff that gets delivered all over this country wouldn't get there if it weren't for truck drivers like him. How many miles do you drive on a on an average week? About 2,500, 3,000 miles. A week? A week. a lot of driving. But here's another thing you guys probably don't know. I hate the smell and I hate the taste of coffee. And something I even hate worse than that is when someone gets in my truck and spills some. You see, in my world, we have, we have, we have keys. <laughs> but seriously, we have lids on our cups. You turn it upside down, you can shake it, you can do whatever you want. When you open the lid, then you get your drink. I got a, I got a family, my nerves are shot, and I got subs getting on my truck. Spilling coffee. As many of you know, my truck is very messy, but it does not smell like coffee. So, we're gonna welcome him to the Deer Meat for Dinner Ranch in very unique fashion. Sir, this is just to ensure that this cup never spills coffee in my truck again, okay? Say hello to my little friend. Well, Chris, all I got to say is, you won't be spilling any more coffee out of that cup into my truck. I miss it. Clearly, I hit it. Since we're at the range, I might as well have a little bit of fun. I'm gonna shoot down here. We're just gonna shoot a whole variety of distances. 500, 300, 200, 100. Just let it rip. Oh, drilled it. Let's do that again. That felt good. Ooh, I'm, you hear it? Hear it hitting? Ooh, drilled it. I hit, see me hit it swinging? I caught it on the downswing. So, here's all I got to tell you. I'm gonna let Chris shoot a little bit now, but being familiar with your gun is so important when you come out hunting. Here it is, it's uh, what is it, like end of May? May 25th? The more you shoot your guns, the more comfortable you are with your guns, when it's hunting season and when you're in the woods getting ready to shoot an animal, you don't have to question. You know that your gun, you know your trigger, you know your ammo, you know your optics, and uh, you're ready to go. I specifically like using this lead sled when I'm here at the range because it, it doesn't teach you any flinch. You're able to just focus on your trigger pull, staying on target, following through, so forth. But uh, anyway. Come on, Chris, shoot a little bit. Let me see what you got. Hit. Next time, just try to stay down on your rifle a little bit. That's probably the hardest thing to learn. Hit. Drilled it. All right, hombre. Sorry I had to shoot your cup. I really am. Oh, that was but worth it. we got a lot more good stuff coming up. You want a hog hunt? You want to fish? What do you want to do? All of the above. All right, so here's a question to you. If you came down here and we're hanging out on the ranch and at my home, what would you want to do? All right, y'all, well, it's getting ready to rain. I just want to run you down here. This is our 500 yard target. It's made by Tactical AR 500 Targets Incorporated. They sent me this target, and just because they sent me a target didn't mean I was going to go out and do a video on it. I've let this sucker sit out in the rain for two months because I wanted to see, would it rust? Would it, would it look bad? Looks great still. 
still swings perfectly. It comes with a base. You use a two by four, you can make it as short or as tall as you want. This sits right on the top. It's very portable. You can take it apart. And clearly, that seven millimeter rim mag and the seven millimeter really didn't even, didn't even dent it. This is AR500 steel. It's good for up to a 50 cal. I mean, you can shoot this thing with a bazooka. No worries. It's hard. If you guys want to see more videos out here at the range, just let me know. The range is here for y'all. I want to do videos. Let me know what you want to see because deer meat for dinner is all about its subs. And I'll tell you another thing, um, Outdoor Republic, great company. Uh, they saw the video that I did down in the Keys where I mentioned them. Chris actually drove to their shop and bought some shirts and they called me and said, hey, tell everybody if they use the promo code DEERMEAT5, you're gonna get like 10% off anything you buy. Uh, that's good from now till Monday. So if you wanna go over to OutdoorRepublic.net, check them out, leave them a little note saying that you you saw it on deer meat for dinner. They do make really cool cool shirts. Whenever I come to the gun range, I always wear orange because you never know what's going on. Is somebody going to come to the gun range and start to shoot? I just like to wear orange so everyone knows where I'm at when I'm hunting, especially on public ground and when I'm at the shooting range, so. This is actually the corporate headquarters. That's Kate right there, there. She refuses to be on camera, but we got the back of her anyway. This is Paul Cablin. That's the man with the plan right there, y'all. How you doing? Good. Is this your truck, Paul? No, sir. Yes, sir. Howdy, man. <laughs> so that's I'm Paul Cablin, who owns Ingle. This is Chris, who's a fan of the channel. And a truck driver. And a truck driver. Right? What kind of truck do you drive? I drive a 2017 Peterbilt 579. In, in, in common language, it's a big truck. <laughs> <laughs> right, so in all honesty, you guys, it's been raining cats and dogs all day. We went out to the ranch, we had a good time, and I really do hate the smell of coffee with a passion. So once he spilled it in my truck, we had to blow it up. And seeing as we blew it up, we had to come get him a new cup. Seeing as we're gonna get a new cup, he realized they have fridge freezers and was like, I need one of those for my semi. So this is actually turning into a relatively big event. So in a semi, we have no way to keep bulk frozen items. So something like this is a complete game changer to us. Because all we get, and you guys make well, them with a little free. We've sold a lot of customers like you where yeah. essentially you're buying crappy junk food for a week or two while you're on the road and, and done help <laughs> anyway. Oh, it, it don't help. Sucky. I've actually went out and spent a bunch of money on getting an electric skillet and crock pot and things like that for the truck. Okay. You can see how that moves up and down and sideways. So you can vibrate your truck like you're vibrating it and the compressor is completely isolated within a cocoon of steel. Nice. But that's why they last so long. So that's just a nice little... We'll definitely put it to the test on some a little American tool. roads. <laughs> Alright you guys, so this just keeps getting crazier and crazier by the second. This is Chris Holloway. Chris is in charge of all the marketing and online stuff with Engel here. And he was just like, hey Rob, will you share this? Well, I'm not a big tweeter. I'm not, I'm not, like the only thing I really do is YouTube. I make videos, that's it. So all the other stuff I don't do. Tell me what you got going on. Hey guys, Chris here. So we got a sweepstakes going on. Every week for the next six weeks, someone is gonna win a backpack and two tumblers. All you need to do is pop over to our Facebook page, anglecoolers.com forward slash, sorry, facebook.com forward slash anglecoolers. Yes. And on the 4th of July, it's a grand prize of over $1,500 worth of gear including a fridge freezer, a angle cooler, dry box, a backpack, a couple of tumblers, even some shirts and caps. So, got to be in it to win it. Yeah. It's better than a sharp stick in the eye, huh? There will be a link to this in the description on the video below. All right, there's the man right there. Welcome to my home. <laughs> awesome, so how much time do you spend in here normally? I spend 24 hours a day for six weeks straight before I get to go home. Wow. And so this is your, your freezer. So you were just showing me that's your refrigerator. And this is my little itty bitty fridge that they think we can live out of. And this little thing is the freezer they give us. Well, they don't give us. I had to pay $600 for that. Wow. And then... This, that is why we bought the fridge freezer from Ingle. 
pretty much doubles my capacity. Cool deal. And so you'll you'll now cook and stuff in here. I will. I will cook. I've got my crock pot hiding up here. My coffee pot. I've got more stores down here. My electric skillet. My vacuum saver. I've got all kinds of goodies up here. Yeah, that's where you sleep. That's where I sleep. That's all my storage. I had no idea there was so much room in this sucker. I'm six foot two and I'm not even touching. That's unbelievable. All right, well, what good is a freezer without some fish to put in it? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to my house right now, edit this video, and then we're gonna go fishing this afternoon with Nick Malcolmson. As always, I love you guys and I appreciate you. Hope you enjoyed this little crazy vlog-ish, video-ish, whatever you wanna call it-ish. We gone.